Hi, I'm Sabine. I'm from Germany and I'm in Lisbon now for more, a bit more than four years. I studied biology and I started out studying the genetic basis of uh, diseases like cancer or Parkinson or Alzheimer. Um, for my PhD I decided to move a little bit to a different field where I studied um, how actually we humans adapt our visual um, sensitivity to different light levels. So during my PhD I uh, was lucky to get involved in a collaboration uh, where we studied complex pattern motion perception um, in zebrafish and I got excited about new methods um, that just recently developed, got developed, uh, that allow us to, to image huge populations of neurons throughout the brain of an animal. So I decided to, that I want to learn more about those techniques and I pretty much had the questions in mind that excite me and I want to follow up. So I found a very good match in my research interests um, here in Portugal and on top. <laughs> Uh, I think Portugal is just a, a lovely country, and um, but the final trigger to come here was actually uh, finding the right people that I think uh, are the right ones to, to follow, follow up those questions or allow me to pursue my interests. So, usually in everyday life, um, when you navigate through our environment or when we engage in a task, uh, it's, it's not that simple. We are confronted with many stimuli at the same time and we have to make decisions and uh, coordinate actions with a lot of stimuli in our surrounding, right? And the beauty of the brain is, is uh, um, being able to uh, compute a lot of things at the same time and I'm very excited about figuring out how, how this is going. <laughs> so we are interested in how visual information is processed in the brain in order to allow us to behave accordingly to visual stimuli in our surrounding and adaptively interact with them. We are using zebrafish as model organism because already at early stages of their life, like for example at six to seven days, they have very sophisticated behavior. Um, for example, they have to, to hunt food. They have a transparent brain and the brain is small enough that it fits under the field of view of our objective. We are using animals to express a, a tool that lightens up when neurons are active and this allows us to uh, image their activity while an animal is for example watching a visual stimulus or while it's behaving. In our environment there are different kinds of motions, so motion in different directions, rotational motions and so we are showing different stimuli to the animal for example, gradings moving in different directions or rotating around the animal, and the image activity uh, of the neurons throughout the whole brain. Combining the power of a small brain of a lava superfish with the newest imaging methods that we have in hand right now allows us to record from a huge population of cells, in our case, throughout the whole brain of the animal in order to stand uh, processing between brain areas or like dynamics between populations that can spread over large areas in the brain. I think it's a privilege to be a scientist, right? So I pretty much enjoy the freedom to explore and to learn every day something new. Um, I love to challenge myself to find new ways to look at the world and to look at the details in the world.